thanks for joining us from our studios in Tel Aviv. I'm Natasha Kirchuk here with ILTV's morning briefing from Israel. The victim of last night's stabbing attack at the Damascus Gate in Jerusalem is reportedly in good condition. The 17-year-old American Israeli was stabbed in the back as he was walking home from the Western Wall. The victim immigrated from New York just a month ago, but he says he's undeterred by his injury and hopes to serve in an elite combat unit in the army. This morning, his 16-year-old attacker from East Jerusalem turned himself in after learning his image was caught on security cameras and police knew his identity. France has announced a new initiative to restart peace negotiations between Israel and the Palestinians. French Foreign Minister Laurent Fabius has laid out a French plan to prepare an international conference devoted to a two-state solution. The proposal has caused concern in Israel, and Israeli officials are rejecting France's declaration to recognize a Palestinian state if the peace efforts fail. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon says he's alarmed by recent Hamas declarations to continue building smuggling tunnels and firing rockets into Israel. Ban says that such statements put reconstruction of Gaza at risk and harm humanitarian efforts made by the international community and the Israeli and Palestinian Authority. The UN leader says Hamas is doing a serious disservice to the long-suffering people of Gaza. Israel has voiced disappointment over leaks by Edward Snowden, revealing that the United States and Britain have been spying on Israel. According to the former U.S. spy agency contractor, London and Washington have monitored Israeli Air Force activities since 1998. Images show Israeli drones flying missions over Gaza and the West Bank hacked from live feeds on onboard cameras. The U.S. National Security Agency and its British counterpart allegedly spied on Israeli missions in Gaza, Syria and Iran. That's all for now. I'm Natasha Kirchuk and see you later with our main daily broadcast from Israel at 12 p.m. Eastern Time.